catch. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I am excited to see Greece. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hyloon Saloon. He named it after his great-grandmother. Nothing's more important to Greece than family. told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been very count? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I am glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So. Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our Spamel friend showed us the way. You've a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Reeves must be in the kitchen. We'll meet up with him later. I guess the platform isn't here. Hmm. 
Master Cordova and I will wait for Greece. Go speak with Sir. Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. We're rebuilding the temple archives. Yeah, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And Force Sensitives, and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can't resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. And then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, now you're just giving up. Was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. Yeah, well, it's good to see you two, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, uh, BD. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, it's hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! Huh? Yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova was up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Oh, boy. This guy knows his audience. Ah. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. 
However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kogor, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bowden. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. You got it, Cal. Where to next? watering hole. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Well, former crew. You know what I mean. Do I? So... Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You ever been there? Once. Used to be a settlement. Now it's just a bunch of crumbling stone spires and creepy ruins. Arriving at our destination.
Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. Soul confirmation. Intruder approaching. Take it out! Should be getting pretty close. I don't see anything like a settlement, though. That's the way through. Let's do it. Keep our distance this time.
is in ruins. picked up your trail outside the outpost. Cal. Sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching, Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch, love a big entrance. Thanks. So what do you want? <sighs> what I want, Cal, is to reward you for every one of these that you take down. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off, bounty hunters. And I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian Brood. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Lucky for you. I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon, and I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. All right. I'll think it over. Everybody's got rockets except me. <laughs> This is a good find. Come on, buddy. Still gotta find Dagon's retreat. Just smash this stupid thing apart.
has got to be the place Cordova was talking about. Centauri Cree? Draft across. Let's keep going. I hear you, BD. Let's see. Secrets this place is hiding. Kobo matter. It's overgrown. Okay, let's try that. What? 
We believe Kobo matter originates from deep within the abyss. This strange substance is enigmatic, but not beyond our ability to trick, study buddy. and manipulate. Like all things, once understood, it can be channeled and thus controlled. You were studying Kobo matter in the abyss. Is that how Dagon made his team? talking of their dreams for the abyss it is unbecoming to gossip and to eavesdrop yes master my apologies Get that orb back in the wave coupler. Public and the Jedi Order can understand the mysteries of the galaxy and harness them for the greater good. The Force guides our path. Sounds like the Order I remember. Everything Kree built here was destroyed by a catastrophe she couldn't foresee. Sometimes it feels like history just repeats itself. the updraft to the far side now. Welcome, Jedi. 
Enemies of peace threaten the galactic frontier and our Republic. Once we cross the Abyss, Tannalor could be a bastion to repel that threat. A beacon for hope and justice across the Outer Rim. Tannalor was more than a mission to her. It was a dream of a better future. So long. I came as fast as I could. My master is insistent. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Not back here. All set. All this history. Let's search I'm inside. What is a Jedi? I've been trying to meet you. Over here. All you, BD. Great. No getting through. Strange device. Once broken. He is coming. Destroy it now. Dagon killed other Jedi for it. Got something? I think Master T'Pol had this one. That window leads back outside. 
Master Cordova said that Centauri Cree had a lab on Kobo's moon. We can learn more there. Thanks for the assist. your way around Kobo, don't you? I need to clear my mind. Let's go, BD. Another bounty puck. We should show this to Cage. Don't kill me! Kill you? I just saved your fool life. Who are you <laughs> anyway? I'm Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is Raider territory.
Time to go. Ugh, shattered moon it is. Next up, Kobo's moon. That's my line. Know your role. You shoot things. Me, I'm the pilot. So, you give that old tech Cal found in Dagon's place a look? Yeah. Maybe that lab on the moon will shed some light. What do you think happened to it? The moon? Ah, who knows? Who cares? I don't got time for moons. I think it had something to do with the invasion on Tantalor. How comforting. I'm surprised the moon's still habitable. You and me evidently have different ideas of habitable. I know. I've seen your cantina. Watch it. Grab some seat, Cal. Rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. Sure, it's how you're cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. Couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. <laughs> 